Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to groom a horse when you're in a bit of a rush. So Biscuit is going to be my model today and basically when you're in a rush, so if you're a bit late for a lesson and you just need to groom and tack up really quickly, or if you just, I don't know if you're late or in a rush, I don't know. So when you're grooming in a rush, you don't really need to be super, super thorough. Just make sure that the horse is clean enough to have tack on so that the tack won't rub. You basically only need three things when grooming in a rush. A hoof pick, obviously, this is for hooves. Uh, you always need to do the hooves. A curry comb, this is to get all the mud out, to make sure that the horse, um, well, to make sure that there's no mud in the coat. And the dandy brush to make sure that all the big bits of biscuit get out. To make sure that all the big bits of, put your head over there. To make sure that all the big bits of mud and dust are gone. So these are, these are just the main three, just to make sure that your horse is clean enough to have tack. So when you're grooming, you really want to emphasise on the saddle and girth area, because that is where the saddle and girth goes, obviously. Because um, if you don't get rid of the dirt and mud there, it will rub and that will hurt your horse and it can cause sores. So if you're in a rush, you don't need to groom the legs or anything like that, just the saddle and girth area and around the ears basically where the tack goes. So obviously it's ideal when you're grooming to groom the whole body. Um, that way the whole the horse is just more comfortable, the whole body is cleaner. It's not great to be in a rush, but when you are, hey ho. <clears throat> All right, so the first thing I'm going to use is my curry comb. So there are so many different types of curry combs. I've just got three different curry combs here. So I've got this one, this one and my jelly scrubber so I'm going to use my jelly scrubber today just out of personal preference I think it works the best so jelly scrubber has two sides this side and this side I prefer I prefer using the, the fine side because I just feel like it's more effective but as I said it's all personal preference so with jelly scrubber you just want to go on the horse's body well the saddle the saddle and girth area um, just in circles to get rid of all the mud, basically to bring the mud and dust up from the coat, so. I'm just going in a circle round. So you want to go around the belly, under the belly here. So obviously she's not very muddy or dusty because uh, she's living out in the summer field most of the time and there's no mud or dust because it's summer. Well, there's dust but no mud. So, so once I have done the um, saddle and girth area with the jelly scrubber with my curry comb, I then get the dandy brush. So this is to wipe off all the dirt and dust that was brought up with jelly scrubber. Can you see me? Just going to get the dandy brush and... get all the remaining bits of dust and mud that are there. Go on the other side. Can't really see. So basically that's all you need to do when you're in a rush for the body. So just make sure that where the tack goes is all clean. If you're not in a rush, you can then use flick brushes, uh, body brushes with soft bristles just to make them a bit more shiny, but it's really not necessary. So then once the body's done, onto the hooves. So I'm sure you all know this, but the reason hooves are so important is because if there's any, if there's a rock in it um, and it gets deep into the hoof, then the horse will go lame as hooves are really sensitive areas of the horse. I mean, not the actual hoof, but the frog is. So if ever the frog goes bad, it's, it's really bad for your horse so you have to do the hooves every single time even if you think there's going to be no rocks it's best to be sure. So Biscuit is good with her hooves but some horses aren't so the way I'm going to get it is face towards her bum put my um, bring my hand down her leg and she'll naturally lift it up so once it's up I want to just pick the hooves Okay. 
So the back hooves are a bit more tricky for some people because they don't want to get kicked, but always stay on the side of the horse so that you can't get kicked. Bring your hand down the leg and lift, they should lift it up. Biscuit's not always great with her back hoof. Um, all right, she's queen. So I can't really show you this because there's no one to help me film. Um, but when you're grooming, when you're picking the hooves out, there is a sort of triangle in the middle of the hoof, and that is called the frog. So you need, you always need to pick out around the frog because the frog is the sensitive area with all the nerves. And if you hit the frog, the horse will not be happy because obviously it hurts. So always make sure you go around it. Yeah, basically. <laughs> So after the grooming session, Biscuit's not the cleanest. I mean, her hooves, you can see they've still got mud on them. Um, her entire body, it's still got specks of, I mean, I'm sure there's dust and everywhere. But here, it's all clean and shiny, which is all that counts, really. So I hope this video helped you in any way. Um, I'm really bad at explaining things, so sorry if it didn't. Hey-ho, I tried my best. Uh, thank you for Bicky for being a good model although she did move a lot and she was eating hay so she didn't really care as long as she has food she's happy and i hope this video was good and i will see you in my next video bye